Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I like don't know where to start my day with you guys because I have a baby sleeping in like every room. But we got a little bit going on here today. Um, so the original plan was to take you along with me, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, but the whole plan has changed on what we're doing. So you'll still come along with me, but we're gonna be doing some different things. Um, that's okay, we can do it. We've hit a couple obstacles today. Let me show you the first one. We got like at least two inches or like an inch and a half, I don't know, I'm not good at measurements, of snow already and it's still coming. That little clip there that I showed you does not do it justice. It is so windy um, and it's supposed to just like snow all day. The estimate um, here in Minnesota, in our region at least, that we're gonna get between I think like six to eight inches of snow. So, you know. Just so excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so the boys are still sleeping. Um, I do have the day off. So as I'm recording this right now, it is the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not even gonna promise when I'm gonna put this out. So I'm not even gonna say anything. But I have the day off. Oh gosh. But I have the day off today. Um, even though I have the day off today, I'm going to get all my chores done. So I am still gonna bring the boys to daycare. Um, but usually they'd be at daycare by now, or at least Troy would be on his way. But because of this snow, we're both a little bit on the whole, like, we don't really care about the day, we're just going to take our time. Just because the weather outside is so crazy. I forget if I mentioned it in my previous one, um videos but I'm no longer breastfeeding anymore I'm on formula Makoa eats about six ounces right now and he keeps it down and he's consistent with it Dione we kind of go back between six and five ounces I think I'll probably go back to just five for like always right now because it seems to be when he drinks six he only gets to like four and then he kind of starts to play around and drinks only one more ounce and then he's just like done so we've been like wasting an ounce oh we always forget that first plow go through. No bueno. Um, I'm out of breath. We had to quick shovel the bottom of the driveway because it was just, yeah, like I said, the first plow. Like we were wondering, not wondering, but like I was telling Troy, like I'm surprised like nobody's gone out yet and like snow plowed. Um, Snow plowed, snow blowed. I don't know why. Every time I say both ways sound wrong. Um, oh god. But um, that's why people wait. They wait for the plow to go through and push all the snow from the street onto your driveway. So then you don't look stupid like we did. Not stupid, but like we basically just had to like shovel all over again. Okay. So let me just get you guys put down here for a second and I'll tell you. about the day so today's plan since I have the day off is to correction today's new plan is to clean the house possibly get a few Christmas decorations put up um, I gotta get the boys to daycare um, I was trying to get them to daycare by now because I need to go to Costco and go shopping and it's the day before Thanksgiving so everybody and their brother is gonna be out getting their groceries and everything and like the annoying part is like I'm not even getting groceries I mean I'm getting a little bit of groceries but they're not like Thanksgiving groceries like why everyone else is out like I'm just trying to like shop like it's a normal day um Troy got paid today so it's like I just have to get all the ne necessities that we've been building a list up for that we need so I need to go to Costco um go to Target go to Hobby Lobby maybe go to Walmart Mm, 
what else do I have to do? That's about it outside in this snowstorm. So yeah, I think I am going to get Makoa up a little bit because he still has to eat. Um, I'll get him ready for the day and then I'll get Dione ready for the day and then we'll go to daycare. Plan, plan. Okay, let's do it. For me to kind of dress them sometimes just because there's two and I go through pants quicker than I go through shirts because I have more um, shirts than I do pants so sometimes they match and sometimes they don't you know Alright, so Makoa's done eating. Dioni's dressed and ready. Makoa's dressed and ready. Now I just gotta get them in their car seats and we can go. It's blurry. There we go. First, I just gotta start my car though because it's snowing and cold outside.
Okay, I'm going to try my best not to get sidetracked today because I really do want to go home and I want to clean and maybe possibly get some um, Christmas decorations and stuff put up. Uh, because, I mean, I guess I have Monday off too. Okay, so here's the deal. Earlier I had said how things um, were changing or like the plans changed by like a whole lot. So today... It's 9.56 right now. Right now I would have been, the plan, sorry, let me collect my thoughts here for a second. The plan originally, right now, I would have been putting together all of our luggage and things because today was the day we were supposed to be leaving to go to Portland to go see Troy's family um, for Thanksgiving. <sighs> that all changed. Um, it all changed probably about a week ago. Um, we ended up canceling our flights um, because there is a measles outbreak in Portland, which there was one like back, I think I want to say in March. And now a recent case just opened up back on like, I want to say like the 17th and 18th. Um, and Troy's family was saying how like people are saying if you have like young children that they advise you to stay away from airport the airport because there was a kid who came from samoa and he had the measles and he contaminated the airport i feel so rude i shouldn't say that contaminated because like he didn't mean to you know what i mean but um the airport and there's two hospitals that they like advise you to not like go by um, and then the other thing about, cause like everyone kept being like, well, if you just go to the airport and like go through real quickly. Well, first of all, I'm not going to chance it because, um, for those of you that don't know, because I didn't know, but measles is like an airborne thing. So like if the person who's infected, it like just like coughs that like goes out into the air and then it just like sits there for, I don't even know how long. Um, I forgot how long it said that like it can be like that but um even if we did go through the airport real quick and we got through which we never would have known because they say that it takes up to four days to like show like symptoms and stuff like that but uh, a lot of the our family members work at the airport then they could catch it they won't even know that they caught it then when we all get together for our thanksgiving gathering and they hold the boys like they can infect the boys so it just we didn't want to chance it we didn't want to risk it um like i'm pretty sure our families understand sorry you don't get my full face apparently but trey and i just like feel bad um i mean we're super bummed because we were like really looking forward to this trip and we feel bad because a lot of people took like took off for our like visit and there was just things that were like planned and People had to like cancel and it's just like a really big bummer um, we're trying to find another date to go out there um, we were thinking possibly like February but at the same time it's just it's just too hard to tell because they said that they wouldn't be able to like declare the airport like not infected anymore until like December um, I, I mean, I don't even know how you like check for something like that, but I don't know. Um, so just like everything was just like up in the air and like to schedule a flight like in a month in advance, like those tickets are going to be crazy expensive. So we just, we will have to figure another time out. It's just kind of like disappointing because that means that like his mom and his siblings like oh wait i'm going to costco they won't get to meet the boys until like they're basically almost a year and that's just like kind of a bummer so we're bummed and we're going to be doing thanksgiving here um one thing that kind of made me feel a little bit better though is like they were saying how flights going into like denver and stuff like that which we weren't obviously we we're going to portland but we were having to go through denver um people like the airport before this snowstorm even hit the airport was already um distributing vouchers and like canceling people's flights so i have a feeling our flight may have like been canceled um at least that's what i'm trying to tell myself just so like i feel a little bit better about like 
hey like it would have got canceled anyways because of weather but also oh my goodness stop on a dime I can't do that in the winter um also it's just you know it's just a bummer it's just a bummer and then the weather here kind of ruined everything and yeah but we'll get out there it'll happen it just sucks that it's not gonna happen now and that's what we were planning on having happen so but I'm here at Costco all right well I'm gonna go in and shop and um, yeah okay so I probably should be wearing more than just a sweater in this wind it's 29 degrees out I just don't want to wear jackets because when I'm going in now I'm like running around and I get hot and then I have to take the jacket off in the store and it's just like a lot of work but okay so I like don't even want to go to other stores right now because I spent way too much way too much money here at Costco so I think I'm gonna go home <laughs> and reevaluate my life and see what I actually do need except for I do need to go to Hobby Lobby that's things that I didn't get here and I can't get anywhere else so I lied we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby and then we're gonna go home I only bought one frozen thing here but it's 29 degrees out so I think it'll be okay in the back um, I just want to say that I showed great restraint and didn't buy um, the $10 big jub of peanut M&M's like I always want to buy so go me the other thing that I realized as I was walking around and um, I was getting hungry is I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I bought myself some cinnamon loaves that I've never had before but um yeah there's a car that just pulled up in front of me so I'm feeling a little uncomfortable as you can tell my body language probably changed <laughs> and I'm also trying to make room for these butter loaf things oh cute it's like day out with grandpa and dad kind of thing there's like a guy my age a guy my dad's age and then like his dad they're all gonna go out shopping okay sorry I'm trying to make room <sighs> let's go let's go to Hobby Lobby oh my god I cannot spend this kind of money at Hobby Lobby Troy will kill me okay I'm sorry Troy eh. okay bye <laughs> so we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby I have to get a blanket because I thought I got a blanket for my nephew when we went up to visit them in Fargo the other week um, but I didn't so we're gonna go get that I'm gonna go look for some possibly cheap surfaces that I can chalk on for my chalk tour business shop down below oh I gotta fix that it's dark it's dark it's too dark you guys it's too dark oh get my life together oh my god it's amazing well, I haven't never gotten this before this is bomb. When Troy tastes this, he's gonna want this all the time. Sometimes I just think to myself, like, what is my life? <laughs> hmm. I know everyone wanted to watch me eat. But that's good enough. Let's go shopping. Okay. So I'm in a quick shop in Happy Lobby and not spend a fortune. This is gonna be hard. Okay, let's do it. what <laughs> so I'm done shopping <laughs> I just need to be done because let's just say I got a cart that was my first mistake 
<sighs> okay, let's go home. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little haul for you. Um, some things I need to get into the refrigerator and some things need to go in a freezer. So it's hot in my house and it's always hot in my house. So we gotta get through this. Okay, I had to make it darker because you can't see anything. But I got contact solution, toilet cleaner, Pop-Tarts, because this is what I take and then I go to work and that's my breakfast. Cereal. This is one of the things that has to go in the freezer. Troy likes these little fajita bowls. That's what he has for lunch. I got those little cinnamon loaves. Zyrtec. I bought makeup wipes. Another makeup wipe because this is going to be one of my mom's gifts. Because she uses the same kind. I don't think she watches this. So if you do, Merry Christmas, Mom. I bought toilet paper. Paper towels. But I ran into this thing. Ugh. It's a six drawer thing. It was only $20. And usually you can buy these at like Michael's for like 30. But actually I think those are like 10 drawer ones. <sighs> Whatever. I wasn't gonna go to Michael's. So I bought this to hold all my chalk couture and crafting things. And then I bought this indoor outdoor rug because all of my rugs, I haven't bought rugs in like since we lived in Iowa. So I thought maybe it's time to get a new rug and I think it was only like $20 so and it's like heavy duty and now with the snow I'm not a fan of like wet floors. That's when I wish like I kind of had carpet to like soak it up but anyways. Then I went to Hobby Lobby. Let me make some room. <laughs> One second. I bought these boxes so right now Christmas is already what at 50% off I think. Was it 50 or 60? It was 50% off. So it's 50% off the boxes. And I bought these little shark boxes. They're photo boxes. So many, I bought two, the other one's over there. I can't reach it. But um, I'm gonna use these to hold the um, all the boys like nice photos and stuff. Um, Cause my parents and my grandma, they always gave me little like keepsake box things to hold like all my important special things. So I wanna do that for the boys as well. So I bought these little shark things. Yeah, I don't know why. Moving on. Then I was just kind of like looking for things that I can do for my chalk couture stuff because like, you know, I don't always need to be chalking on like their surfaces. I can always chalk on my own. So I bought some wood stockings that I can chalk on. I bought this base and board thing. I think I'm gonna do a Christmas countdown on it. Then I bought this because everybody needs one. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that don't know and you will see um, every Christmas Eve Christmas Day Christmas yeah every Christmas Eve me and my family on my mom's side we go out and we do a little ugly sweater Christmas bowling so everybody gets all decked out in their Christmas gear ugly sweaters leggings um, one time my brother wore like this whole big like elf suit thing like had Santa pants and everything um, your Santa hats and all and I decided to get a little, little unicorn headband. Oh my goodness, it's all like glittered out and stuff. So it was also on clearance because it's Christmas item. I bought this snow globe. Um, it's a double-sided snow globe. So what I'm gonna do is put the boys' pictures on it and then this will be one of my mom's gifts. My mom is a really easy person to shop for. As you can see, I already got her things. It's my dad who's always kind of the trouble. So I went to Hobby Lobby to just buy this blanket and glitter. Yeah. So I bought this blanket. This is the same one as the boys. It has the blue, the boot. It has the blue, bl I can't say this word. It has the boot. <laughs> oh, get my life together. It has the blue backing. There we go. Um, 
but I bought one similar to this, but it had a pink backing um, for my niece. So I figured I bought one for my niece. I need to buy one for my nephew. But what I am going to do that's different than what I did for my niece is with my Chakatur stuff, now that I have it, I'm going to put um, his name on it along with putting the boys' names on theirs. So red is my color and red plaid is also my color, like the buffalo plaid. So, I figured I might as well do it for the boys too. <laughs> so I bought them shoes. That'll be Christmas time. And then I'm also gonna chalk a tour some football onesies for them. So I just have two gray onesies. So I got just different size sponge, like the foam brushes, because that's the easiest to paint with. I don't know. Then I got black paint and white paint, and then I got silver glitter, red glitter, white glitter, and purple glitter. This is another thing that I need to stop doing. I keep buying notebooks, but I have a notebook for all my YouTube content. I have a notebook for the boys' first birthday. Ugh, saying that out loud is kind of embarrassing. I feel like I'm really setting like high expectations for their first birthday, and I need to like deliver. I should probably stop talking about it. But anyways, this is going to be my chocolate tour notebook. It says chill, it's only chaos, <laughs> which is what my life is. Then this is what everyone needs in their lives, right? I bought a pumpkin. <laughs> what is this video? Okay, so I bought a pumpkin. It's a fake one. I am, I mean, obviously when the boys get older, I'm going to be a trooper kind of mom and I'll do the whole pumpkin carving thing. We didn't do that growing up. I think we only did that a couple times, but like my mom wasn't a really big fan of it. Neither was my dad. My dad's kind of a perfectionist, so that was kind of hard for him to like let us do it. Um, but I'll rally and do it with my boys, but I don't want to do that for myself. So what I'm going to do since it's chalk tour, um, and I'll probably do this like next year on Halloween. I'll probably put this away and wait a whole year, but I'm going to put our last name across it. And then that's, what's going to like go outside because I don't want to carve that. And also like, I don't want to carve that every year and then throw the pumpkin away. So instead I'll just put it on this guy. Now moving on to Walmart, I bought dog food, I bought rice, I bought chicken, I bought milk and eggs, I bought ramen, mashed potatoes because this is the only thing that I'm contributing at Thanksgiving. I wanted to do rolls but somebody's already doing them. I got lunch meat, cheese, ground beef, more ground beef, refried beans, Taco mix, Clorox wipes, more Clorox wipes, Trey's deodorant, my deodorant, a turkey roast, makeup, <laughs> more cheese. And I found these little stencil things that I thought were cute, so I mean, they were in the clearance aisle. I mean, I have no self control. Oh, Trey's never gonna let me shop all by myself ever again. Oh, and then I bought this bin. This was my bag that I was using as my, instead of using plastic bags. That's the one thing I'm trying to do the most is when I go shopping, which is like unfortunate sometimes because I forget to bring my reusable bags, but I don't want to get the plastic bags anymore because, you know, like the earth and stuff. But okay, now I got to put all this stuff away, especially the stuff that needs to go in the refrigerator because it's probably been sitting out for way too long. Gotta go. So, I mean, maybe I just left my house messier than <laughs> this morning. Uh, my plan was to shop and then come home and clean, but it all just kind of got away from me. I mean, I got my rack thing up that I got from Costco, but... That's pretty much it, but I need to leave now. It's 4.41 and daycare closes at 5. If I leave right now, I'll get there at 5 exactly. So I gotta go get the boys. And then try to clean while they're with me.
whatever I'll clean on Friday <laughs> okay let's go well today was slightly unsuccessful um, I got my shopping done I got that little shelf thing put together I organized my chocolate tour stuff a little bit I'm here <laughs> Are you cheesing it up? Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Double chin baby. Uh. Who's that baby? <laughs> Are you so happy? Yeah, I can. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that baby? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, what? Hi. 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 Are you bouncing? Miss Vin! <laughs> <laughs>